hi again we're out in the garden and i'm not sure how well you can hear me yet again it's quite windy hopefully you can hear me well enough i'm about to do some mounds around the honeyberry bushes it's a method of propagating plants so i just thought it's a good idea to film a bit and make a short video about it if it will be too windy i'll just put some clips together with uh, sound over it recorded afterwards hopefully it will be okay so these are the honeyberries i'll get closer so as you can see this is one of them and i'm going to make mounds around each one I'll explain more afterwards. You'll see what I mean if you haven't watched my previous videos. But it's a great method of propagating currants, gooseberries, honeyberries, aronia plants. I heard it's good for which I'm gonna try with as well. I have only one plant uh, which I wish to propagate into lots of them because aronia is very beneficial to have in the garden to eat the berries and for blooms and all sorts of other things. So here's uh, the first mound, I did this in this area, as you can see it's just like a mound, a small mound around the plant and what I recommend, that I've seen other people recommending to do, is to make a plant is, to make the surface of the plant, so not like a volcano, uh, I mean kind of like a volcano in a way but without the tip. So when it rains, if it's like a dip, it will erode much faster, but if it's like this, a bit flat, hopefully the water will soak in better and will help um, the stems encourage, it will encourage them to make roots. Ideally, you'd want to make this before the plant blooms or buds out, but some of them are budding out, others aren't yet. I just decided to do it now i didn't think about it earlier i had other things to do so yeah just if you want to propagate uh, honeyberries or blackcurrant try to do this and see how it works I'm, I'm trying it for the first time this year and we'll see uh, from what i've been researching honeyberries take a little bit longer to grow especially depending on the site they are planted these ones are a bit more in the shade when the trees will uh, leaf out the larger trees but they should still grow quite well you just you might need a bit more patience but yeah as you can see I'm gonna do it for the other ones as well you can pile up as much material as you like this is the one that I had here it's quite, quite fertile in this area as well because it's been deposited over years so yeah we've got the variety I think this one is strawberry sensation so yeah hopefully we can also bend the stems and put them down and cover them with soil but for this time I'm gonna try this method and when the leaves the stems will be longer I can try the other the layering method this is how the honeyberries look like now six of them as mentioned I think so yeah little mounds around them might be more visible from this side the light seems a bit better to show the mounds
what I'm going to do probably I'm going to leave them to grow bigger but if I do want at a later date to take cuttings I should have quite established plants once I move the soil away because lots of roots should be able to form on those branches on the stems underneath so yeah if you have plants like these in the garden you could try and do this and exponentially expand your car or food forest thank you for watching take care